All right. Now, this will give me sound, but it might also double up the audio at some point. So I know you could probably hear me right now, but the problem with doing this is sometimes the mic will get glitchy, but I guess we'll deal with that as we go. All right. I just ran... I ran a stream on this channel for 15 minutes on a private channel, and it was fine. Like, no drop frames, nothing for, like I said, a long time. I talked to my internet guy about this. He said he would look into it for me. I mean, I, I like, I legitimately, I streamed not a single drop frame. I was good, okay? And I the settings from when I did that and between then and now are exactly the same. I have not touched anything. So if we start dropping frames like crazy and we start lagging and the stream starts dying, then literally the only thing that I've done different is I switch the stream to public. <laughs> like, that's the only difference. So I could stream flawlessly as long as no one is watching. <laughs> that's that's the, that's the, the trade-off. All right. So today, I actually am going to turn the chat off really quick, though, because I do have to adjust a setting, and then I'll be right back. So just hang on a sec. I forgot to type in what game I'm actually playing onto YouTube. So, all right. So as I was saying earlier, um, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, which is a game that came out in 2002 for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers the Game Boy Advance, but I remember the Game Boy Advance. It was a really fun console. Uh, I remember getting it for Christmas one year, and the only thing better than getting the Game Boy Advance for Christmas was getting a Game Boy Advance game that was a Yu-Gi-Oh! game for Christmas. Because uh, 2002, man, I mean, that was... I, I don't think I got the game in 2002. I think I got it, like, the following year, but that was, like, when Yu-Gi-Oh! was, like, really big in the States. That's when everything kind of kind of clicked together with that. The booster packs were selling. You have the... Uh, the, the, the starter decks, like the uh, Yugi and Kaiba starter decks, and then Joey and Pegasus and, and all that jazz. And it was just a great time to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan in the early 2000s. I was probably about 10 years old when I first played this. So, um, yeah, this is actually... And for those of you... How many people have actually played uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Cards before for the Game Boy Advance? Let me know how many people have actually played this game before. Uh, the One Piece is real! Yes. Can we get much higher... I don't know if you're quoting a song or if you want me to crank up my microphone higher, but, like, my microphone should be, like, really good. It should be the same settings I'm always using, so I don't want to crank it up any higher than I usually do. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so everybody... Okay, some people have, some people haven't. It's... I'm not even kidding. It's literally a Yu-Gi-Oh! JRPG. It, it kind of. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! JRPG. It's the Battle City arc of the anime... But you are the main character. I'm not even kidding. Like, Joey and Yugi are in this game, but Yugi is, like, the second main character. Joey is demoted to the third main character. Oh, no, it's, it, I guess it would be Yugi, Kaiba, Joey, and then you're as number one. Okay, you're the, you are the main character. So, I'm not even exaggerating. It's like, remember that epic duel between Yugi and Joey on the dock when they were hooked up with the anchor and the loser was going to, like, die? Yeah, no shit. In the game, Yugi loses, and then you have to step in, and you have to be the one to duel Joey. And in the Battle City Finals, it's like the final duel between Yugi and Merrick. It's actually you and Merrick, so you're the one that actually saves the day. So, yeah. No, Yugi doesn't die. Yugi doesn't die. He's just not the main character. You're the main character. That's what this is. So, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, this episode is not going to be that long. It's only going to be about an hour. Um, I'm actually doing One Piece D&D later tonight, and that's actually going to start around 7, and it's like about 5.40 right now. I just wanted to do this just to see if I could... The stream works, and so far it's going great. Like, it really is going fine, and I really don't want to... I don't want to jinx it or anything, so I'm just going to pull up the game, and we're just going to get right into it. So let's just start the game. Link start! And we're going to have to let me know about audio and all that as we go. Oh, Konami! Thank you, Konami, for all of your... Well, I don't know. What's the best thing Konami's ever done, and what's the worst thing Konami has ever done? Okay, so we have our first decision we need to make. Uh, which country are we from, I guess? Uh, there's no instructions on this screen, so I guess I'm just supposed to pick a country that I'm from. So I'm not from the UK, so we could just ignore that. 
Uh, I'm also not from Spain. All right, next option. Uh, I'm not not from Italy. Or is that Mali? No, that's Italy. Uh, I'm not from Germany, uh, and I'm not from France. And uh, those are my only five options, it seems. Okay, so uh, we already have a major problem. I don't think I'm allowed to play this. I'm not from Europe. <laughs> so I guess that's the Let's Play. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. It was a fun game where we got to cycle through the different flags of the world. Um, but yeah, so we're done. <laughs> I I play the flag of Spain in attack mode, and I'll lay the Italian fla uh, f a flag face down. <laughs> I'll activate my Italian trap card. You get submerged in a giant pile of pasta. I activate the field spell, Germany. <laughs> I activate thy pendulum summon, France. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's get started. All right. How's the music? Music good? Here's the title theme. I'll let that play for a bit. Going to go to new game. I think I do have a save game on here, but it was years and years ago that I played this. This is an old emulator. I've had this emulator since I did, like, Pokemon. Like, my first ever Pokemon Let's Play back in, like, 2012. I've had the same emulator. Uh, yeah. Uh, music is good. All right, good, good, good. Uh, music is good. All right, cool. Make it louder. So the music is not loud enough. Okay. Well, let me adjust that for you guys. Uh, let me up that just a bit. I know it went quiet. Hold on. All right, there we go. How about that? My music, I mean, the music from the game, my audio. Good combo there. I don't want the music to be glaringly loud. A good a good split for me would be like 60% my voice, like 40% is the game audio. But we can adjust that as we go. That's not a huge deal there. All right, let's just get going. Saving will replace the save deck. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're starting a new game. We're going right to it. All right, what's our name going to be? I want to think of something clever for this one. I don't think we could really have that many um, characters for this one, though. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe like six characters. That's it. Wow. Uh, and this is Game Boy Advance, keep in mind. So we're a little bit more primitive than the, uh, the uh, Forbidden Memories, even. Uh, William. Can I don't even know if I could fit William on here. Let's see. Uh, I might. I might be able to fit William on here. Uh, H, that's an I. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 that's cool. Look at that. Karibo. Purple Karibo. Oh, hey, Karibo. It's a shiny Karibo. Uh, let's see. William. I think I might be able to fit William. William. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I could do one more character, too. William Money Sign. <laughs> Williams! Yeah, that's good. Let's just go with that. All right. Williams with a... I'm, I'm following in the footsteps of Kesha, the great Yu-Gi-Oh player Kesha. I don't even think she has the dollar sign in her name anymore. Okay. The battle... Hey, hey Yug! Not Yug. Hey! Hey, Williams! Uh, the Battle City Tournament's today, Williams. Good morning, Williams. Have you made your deck? Oh, yeah, you bet I've made my deck, Yugi, and it's cash money. I'll tell you what. Hey, Yug, my new deck is something special. It took me all night, but it's the best ever. Williams, did you put together a good deck? I wonder what'll happen if I say no. Like, no! I spent all night reading about history for a final that I have in school on Monday. <laughs> huh? Are you kidding me? Better get it together. There's still time. Make it as stronger as you battle. Okay, let's get going, Yug. Don't want to be late. All right, cool. All right, so, uh, yeah, this is our character. Uh, now, there is a way to customize the character. I'm just kidding. There's no way to customize this character. We are stuck as orange hoodie backwards cap kid with a blue backpack and blue Nike sneakers. I'm just kidding. This is 2002. We're probably wearing, like, blue Velcro Digimon sneakers, if nothing else. Hey, I miss my Digimon Velcro sneakers when I was in fourth grade, all right? Those shoes were awesome. I mean, I remember our dog, Lucky. He was a beagle when we got him. He, he chewed them all up, but but still. All right, so um, this is our character, uh, Williams, yes. Uh, we have our room here, a nice little room. It kind of is starting, like, it's it's very reminiscent of a Pokemon game. So that's, I'm kind of wondering if that's what they were taking inspiration from. Like, let's just make these Yu-Gi-Oh! video games more like Pokemon games. So, there you go. Light Sketcher's Lamp. Yeah, there you go. Some people get it. Some people in the chat get it. All right. Rebox. Yeah. 
Nike 97s. Yeah, all right. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the computer and see if we have any potions or anything we can take out. Uh, what I like to save. Yeah, I'm saving. I'm saving my old game. All right, cool. Uh, now, let's just figure out all of the different uh, buttons and stuff. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, status, trunk, and deck. S status? Like, can I get beaten up in this game? Do I have a health bar? <laughs> um, you lost to Bandit Keith, and he shoots you in the kneecap. Oh, shit. I got to find some health. All right, all right. Uh, Williams, deck capacity 1,600. That's a point system that we're going to get back to later. I'm allowed to keep 1,600 cards in my deck? Holy shit! The deck limit is insane. That reminds me of those two guys that entered that one Yu-Gi-Oh tournament with a deck that had, like, a 1,000 cards in it. Like, remember that? Look that up on YouTube. They were just, like, trolls, but it was so funny. Uh, my duelist level is 72. Um... I, I, I guess that's a good number. I, I mean, it's better than being duelist level 69. I, I Let me just tell you that much. Okay. Um, let's see. Your life force is connected to the cards. Uh, I have one out of six locator cards, which if you've seen the anime or the manga, you'll know what locator cards are. And uh, I have 500 dominoes. Uh, I guess because this is Domino City, they use dominoes as a currency in Domino City. I have 500 dominoes in my backpack. It's it's just filled up to the brim with dominoes. All right, good to know. Good to know. All right, how do I get out of this screen? There we go. Got to figure out the uh, you know the uh, buttons early on. All right. So the way that this card uh, the, the mechanics of this uh, game work so remember how in forbidden memory we we had to keep 40 cards in our deck but we could throw in like as many cards as we wanted like we could throw in three blue eyes ultimate dragons and we could just like summon them right away so um this game actually does follow the actual rules of the game a little bit more closely as in the case with uh tributing so if you have a, a monster that has five stars for instance like right here uh, this card, you know, Swordsman from, a no, uh, Saber Slasher. Here we go. Saber Slasher, five-star monster. We would have to tribute a card to summon Saber Slasher. Okay, so that's, like, the same as the game. However, the deck capacity is the problem. So I think, actually, and we can kind of switch through the different uh, sorting, uh, you know, systems here to, like, you know, sort the cards by type or cost or whatever. So in our deck here, and I don't think we have anything in our in our trunk that we don't have in our deck because we're just starting the game. But let's say we won a card from somebody that's like a really powerful, like let's say we won the Blue Eyes White Dragon and we had that card in our in our trunk. We can't just add that to our deck because if it goes over deck capacity, then we can't play with it. So it's sort of like as we play the game, our deck capacity increases and then we can add stronger and stronger monsters to our deck. Um, that's how it works. It's sort of hard to explain, and there's a lot of other things about this game I remember, like, attributes defeat other attributes automatically. Like, if you have a monster that's, like, a, a, a water monster, it actually will defeat a fire monster, I think, without even battle. Like, it's just water beats fire. Like, I think that's how it works. Or maybe it just get a power bonus. I don't remember. Um, it's been a long time since I've played this game. But, um... Yeah, let's just uh, let's just get into it. Like battle chips in Battle Network, yeah, kinda. Uh, but yeah, our deck uh, definitely has a lot more uh, monsters than it did from, or a lot more different, like you know, effect monsters spells than it did in, in Forbidden Memories. So this is Doron, uh, who only has 900 attack, but he is a an effect monster that. Uh, let's see here. A striped warrior that can create a copy of itself in battle. So if you play this monster, you actually summon a, a token, I guess, of the same monster that has the exact same attack and defense. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Dark Hole. We got Dark Hole. Pretty good staple of the game. Wipes out all monsters. And as you can see, it says the cost of said card. So the, the you know, this costs 40 points to add it to your deck. So... And I think we have to have... Uh, I think we can have less... Yeah, we have less than our deck capacity in. That's okay, but we can't go over. Um, yeah. The classic mutual destruction. Of course, yes. Uh, Muyan Curry, which I think just gives us... Uh, it gives us... Wow, gives us 200 points! Yay! 200 life points. And this actually has a zero cost, so some cards will have that. Uh, where we don't have to pay anything. Uh, Zone Eater is an effect monster in the actual game, but I don't think it is here. No, it isn't. Um, Saber Slasher might actually be the strongest monster in our deck right now at a whopping 1450. Uh, do we have any other effect monsters? Ah, uh, yes, we do. Oh, Skalengle. I think that lets us draw a card. 
Yes, that's actually an actual monster in the game, and you just uh, summon it, and you can uh, draw an extra card. So he's like basically a jar of greed, or half as good as a pot of greed. Uh, let's see, we have the Karibo knockoff, the Wretched Ghost of the Attic. You know, so these are going to be pretty vanilla. I mean, we're still kind of in the era of video games where it's just the name of the game is Beat Stick versus Beat Stick, and that's it. But there are a few effect monsters sprinkled in throughout. Witch's Apprentice, which actually powers up uh, light mon uh, powers up dark monsters, powers down lights. Um, there's some other types in this game that don't exist. Like, uh, let's see here. Dark, ritual, lights. Like, light here is... I think light is considered a type in this game, not an attribute. Yeah, so that's a little weird. I think there's some other ones that are... Wind. So there's a wind attribute, which is not a... It's a, that's an. I mean, it's, there's a wind type, but there's not a wind attribute. Yeah, the forest. So there's a forest type in the game, you know what I mean? So they're a little different. Uh, and you just kind of have to play around and see what fights against what. But, um... I mean, the best way to learn is to really just get into the thick of it. So let's just let's just start. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Kicking off the Battle City Tourney. All right. Hey, look at that. Everyone's here already. Yeah, there's like three people in this courtyard. All the greatest duelists from around the town are coming here. Wow, this is exciting. Yeah, you look really excited, Yugi. Oh my god, guys, we got like- Oh my god, Kaiba's literally- Oh my god. It's like six people he's giving this speech to. It's like Kaiba's like, Man, I can't wait to see how many duelists turn out for my Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle- Battle City Tournament. He shows up, there's like six people. I'm like, oh shit. Fellow duelists, welcome to Battle City. Let me explain the tournament's rules. The tournament takes place throughout Domino. Wherever duelists meet in the city, that shall be where the duels take place. Duel takes place in the middle of a hospital during a surgery, so be it. Duelists may play using only their own decks. The loser may turn over one rare card to the victor. Did he say may turn over or has to turn over? That sounded like an optional rule, Kaiba. Eight winning duelists will enter the final round. The final stage is hidden somewhere in town. Each of you duelists received a locator card. You must defeat others and get their locator cards. When you have gathered the six, then you will have the map to the final duel stage. You may duel with those puzzle cards at stake. In other words, only those who win duels and obtain the six locator cards will earn the right to get up the stage for the final. So what's preventing someone from just going up and just beating the shit out of other duelists and just stealing their Yu-Gi-Oh card? It's stealing their, their locator cards. Because I'm pretty sure that's what Bakura did in the anime. The tournament com uh, commences at 9 a.m. sharp. Now fellow duelists, scatter throughout Battle City. If you get hit by a car or something, that's not my fault. Kaiba Corp <laughs> bears no responsibility. It's finally starting. Yeah, you bet. Even us. We're rivals from now on. Try to hang in there in the end, Yug. And Williams. Maybe. I'm just going to answer every question with, like, so much, like, apathy. Like, I do not care. Eh, maybe. Hey, don't be so down on yourself, Williams. Buckle up and get it together. Yeah, let's go for it, Williams. Once you've collected all the cards, let's meet up. We should get together and my grandpa's toy shop. Yeah, okay, we'll do that, Yug. I'm off to Brooklyn. Later, guys. All right, cool. So, yeah, we're just like, we're like the old, we're part of the gang, you know? We're like hanging out with Yugi and Joey and Tristan and Taya, and we've just always been there, you know? Williams with his orange hoodie and backwards cap. I can't believe we're streaming right now, and it's not, it's not, it's not, um, stalling at all. Toy shop, yeah, it's actually a card shop. All right. I mean, I guess toys are, are for sale. They're, they're figurines. Yeah, Grandpa's selling his sexy anime girl figurines. Whoops, the tournament's about to start. I wouldn't be caught wandering around here. You'll be easy pickings for a skilled duelist. Yeah, as soon as that clock strikes nine, Yugi's just going to come up to me and just like, all right, time to duel. I'm like, oh shit, already? You know, Pegasus got beat at the Duelist Kingdom. The guy who beat him, Yugi, is right there. He must be terrifying, I bet. Oh, he's terrifying. Yeah, he'll straight up, he'll straight up shiv you. You lose a duel to him. I heard some duelists are playing with their lives just so they can collect some rare cards. That kind of tenacity, it's too much for me. Yeah, like when Kaiba did that uh, that strat at Duelist Kingdom where he's like, I'm going to jump off this cliff unless I win. Oh, look, it's Rex Raptor. He's, he's kind of off to the side there. Rex Raptor. <laughs> they all scurried off into town, but I'm making my stand right here. <laughs> my loud and proud dinosaur deck isn't for hiding. <laughs> Did you see Beavis and Butthead got rebooted? It's, it's funny. It's it's funny, you fart knocker. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, there's Naruto. Cool. 
Guess what? I saw Weevil Underwood. He's the former Japanese champion. Believe it. I'm cosplaying as Naruto in this tournament. I'm getting stoked all over this. Shadow Clone Jutsu. <laughs> all right. Loved the game when I was a kid, yeah. Uh, and then we got, oh, the suits. Kaiba Corporation is investing in cloning technology, son. So we've cloned all of the Rollins in this town, and they're going to be protecting you from going into uh, prohibited areas. All right, cool, great, awesome. All right, he uses a ninja deck. That guy has to use a ninja deck. Oh, look, it's, I don't know, random guy. Here, cards represent all power, nothing else. The loser, whoever it is, goes into the gutter. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the crazy thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, people, like, the joke in the Abridged series was, like, it's like a children's card game. No, in actual Yu-Gi-Oh! in the anime, it's not a children's card game. It is everything. Everything! Oh, look, it's Bones hiding in the shade. <laughs> this tournament, I'll show them. <laughs> I'll show them all! <laughs> all right. He looks way creepier than in the, uh... Uh, than in the, uh, anime. His real name in the manga is not Bones. It's like Ghost something. It's like Ghost something in Japanese is his real name. I forget. Somebody will tell me in the chat. There aren't many girls in the tournament, but gender doesn't matter in card battles. I'm going to last till the end. Woo! Yeah, you tell him, girl. That's very progressive for this game from 2002. Women can play card games as well! Seto Kaiba is going to enter the tournament too, which, by the way, is kind of bullshit where Kaiba is the one. Kaiba automatically knows where the finals are. His company is the one that set up the damn tournament. So it's like, yeah, Kaiba's going to start the tournament. He's going to be in it too. Like, but he has to still duel fair and square like everybody else. Bullshit. You know for a fact if Kaiba lost uh, to some random person in the tournament, he would have just pulled some strings and been like, well... Even if I lost my locator cards, I'm still going to be in the finals. Ghost Kotsuzuka. There you go. Thank you, that one guy. You know, that one guy. All right. There's no way of beating his legendary blue eyes. Hey, look, it's Weevil. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Butthead or Beavis. I've never actually watched that show. We were chumming around with Yugi, weren't you? You tell Yugi this. I'm going to beat you, but good this time. Ho yo, 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 ho yo. Okay, cool, great, awesome. Mr. Underwood's going to win this tournament, and he's going to become the true champion. You're just bait for our insect decks. By the way, I am talking to everybody for a reason, because I think you can't actually progress to the next part of the game until you actually talk to everyone. We swore allegiance to Mr. Weevil Underwood. We're the insect deck army! Alright, cool. That guy down there looks like Frankenstein. Yeah. Oh look, it's Mako Tsunami, the freaky fish guy! I lost against Yugi and them at Duel Kingdom, but not this time. I'm taking the prize money and buying a boat where I'm going to go find my dad, who actually died in the original manga, but I don't know that. I won't let anyone get in my way. Cool. This whole town is the Battle City, huh? You have to hand it to Xeto Kaiba. There's a guy who knows how to be thinking big. Yeah, literally, like, Battle City, when you think about it from, like, the civic engineering standpoint, is fucking insane. Kaiba literally shuts down, like, a whole district of Tokyo, essentially, for days straight so everybody could just play a stupid card game tournament. <laughs> like, people have to get to work, you know what I mean? There's, there's just monsters battling it out in the middle of the street. You know what I mean? But hey, I guess he has enough money so he could do whatever he wants, I guess, right? Uh, the ocean says yes. The whole town is Battle City, huh? You have to hand it to Seto Kaiba. Oh, I already talked about him. Okay. What about up here? Oh, it's Tristan! Yo, Williams, do you know how to make a challenge? If you want to duel someone, press the R button. That's how you challenge someone to a duel. You go up to them and press the R button. Yeah, that's that's how people talk. Sometimes I wish talking to human beings was as easy as it is in, like, you know, you just walk up and you have a list of options. It would make things a lot simpler. Like, let's say you walk up to a stranger on the street and you just want to get into a conversation with them. And, like, a dialogue box appears right in front of them of all of their interests. So you have, like, three options. Like, talk about sports, talk about TV, talk about, like, music. And it's like it comes up, like, the kind of music they like. And that way you could just skip over all the bullshit. You'd be like, hey, do you like... ACDC? I do like ACDC. And then you can just have a conversation about that. And a dog. I challenge you to a duel, dog! It doesn't work! 
I'm just gonna wander into this person's house. Oh, it's my house! Cool! Alright, I know where I live. Alright. I've, I've found my protagonist home. What about up here? Nope, nothing up here. Uh, I used to play this! Yeah, I can't go over here either. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, I think there's a, uh, oh, here's a clock right here. Okay, so, nine o'clock. It, it looks like it's nine. Oh, a nine. Oh, look, it's my. You were with Joey Wheeler, weren't you? I'm going to prove I'm the best duelist here. I'm going to take this tournament, just watch. And I'm taking down Wheeler and Yugi. Foo, 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 foo. Ara, ara, ara. Well, um, you're going to have to get through me, my, and I'm the real protagonist of this game. Ah, oh, hey, it's drawing like a sir. Dude, if this would have worked on the dog, I would have loved to duel the dog. How do I... Okay, it's R, it's R, but... Oh, there... Whoa, slow down, baby! Oh, my God! <laughs> I walked up to Mai and pressed a button, and she's like, Okay, slow down there, baby. I'll take you on if the opportunity arises. See you. Oh, that's what I have to do. All right, I remember what I... Oh, and then you hear a little, little twinkle in the corner. All right, that's what I have to do. Wait, wait, it's not time yet. We're going to meet again somewhere in Battle City, bro. When did Mako Tsunami talk with bro? Yo, 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 aren't you impatient? The tournament hasn't even started yet. We'll feast on the next time we meet. Yo, 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 yo. Wait for it. Oh, wait for them all to go. Come on, guys. There it is. Oh, bones. <laughs> I hate bright places like this. I'll be waiting for you in the dark. Meet me in that dank alleyway where we could jump and stab you. Take your locator cards. I mean, duel you. Sure, but wait. I'll duel when the time comes. Actually, I love Raptor's voice in the Oceanic dub, which is just basically like, Whoa, bro. Calm down, brah. I don't duel anyone who's too uncool. Ha, <laughs> cha. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay. Okay, there he goes. Wait. Leave! Oh, there you go. What the... F I, I, I guess Rex Raptor doesn't count as a duelist. He didn't leave. <laughs> nope. Okay, I guess he doesn't count. What about Naruto? Ease up. The tournament hasn't started yet. Believe it. All right. What about Yugi? It's not 9 o'clock yet, Williams. After it is, I will wreck everybody I see. All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's Rex's primary location. All right. Oh, the creepy alley. Oh, the cemetery. Oh, my God. There's a cemetery, like, right in the middle of the city. Wow. I wonder if this is where we're going to duel bones, guys. All right. Uh, is it 9 o'clock yet? Can we duel? Can we, can we duel now? Do I have to talk to everybody around here? No? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. An event. An event is starting in true JRPG style. Everything begins with a festival. Hey, the annual JRPG festival is starting, guys. Cool. Oh, here comes Yugi. Nice, nice. Okay, let's go. For my grandpa's soul. Oh, wait. That was the last arc. Yeah, bro, I won't lose to anyone. Cha. <laughs> it's about time. I like the music. Joey Wheeler, you just wait. All right, so what did you ever get from the impression with Joey and, and Mai? Did you feel like Joey has... I always got the impression Mai had this huge crush on Joey, but Joey was just too oblivious to ever realize it. Like, that was the way I interpreted their relationship when I was a kid. Like, not in Duelist Kingdom, but, like, by Battle City, I always, like... J like, Mai had, the like, the hots for Joey, like, big time. And that just... It just never coalesced in anything. She was into him. Yes, yeah, there you go. There you go, yeah. They were totally a couple. I don't think they were ever a couple, but Mai really wanted him, and I just think Joey just never... Never picked it up. Yeah. Yeah. I am the Duel King. This is where I prove it. All right, good luck, Kaiba. All right, so now the game begins properly, and we can actually start dueling, which is good. I have about a, I could probably stream for another half hour, maybe 40 minutes, and then I got to get off because I got to get ready for One Piece D&D. &D. But, all right. Um, Joey would not date her. Looks too much like Yugi. <laughs> I think it was mutual, but it was too dumb. I don't know. I feel like 
I feel like Joey never, at least in the English, because they probably changed it in the English dub where Joey's an idiot more, so maybe in the original manga or in the original anime, Joey actually learns about it and, and maybe mentions it to Mai at some point. I just don't remember. Isn't Mai an adult and Joey in high school? Joey's definitely a high school student at the beginning of the anime. They all are, but I don't know how old Mai was. Somebody get a check on that, actually. All right. Um, okay, so I think we have to start dueling, like, I think we have to start, you know, dueling random people first. So let's just duel Frankenstein here. Like, get back here, Frankenstein. All right. All right, we'll have a match. Uh. All right. Um, uh, seven complete. I'm just going to dive right. Oh, I have Torrential. Oh, this is my trunk. Okay. I was like, I have Torrential Tribute, I have Monster Reborn, I have Heavy Storm, I have fucking... What is this? I have the Master of Dragon Knight? Oh, I have to choose an anti-card. So that's cool. Actually, that is cool. You can see all the cards in the game early on, but you can't add them to your deck. So look at the cost of that. Like, that's 169. That's a lot. And it's divine. I think the God cards... Oh, the FGD. Five Guard. Five God Dragon. Five God Dragon? It's the Five Headed Dragon, not Five God Dragon, but whatever. Okay. Mai was 24 and Joey was 16. All right, Mai. Uh, <laughs> FBI might with well, the FGD might want a word with you. Okay. That's uh, that's yeah. God damn it, Japan. All right. So um, all right. Uh, we can't add anything into our deck, so we don't have copies of these cards. But oh, even Toon Dark Magician Girl is in here. Cool. So, we can't add these cards, but we can look at them. So, that's that's cool. Uh, but we have to pick a card for an ante. So, where are the cards that we actually have? There's, oh, there are the god cards right there. And they have... Uh, actually, we can't access them yet because I guess we don't know they exist. Um, hold on. I want to see if I can add, like, some kind of, you know... Am I supposed to add an ante? I don't know. Because I don't have any of these cards. Whatever. I can't... Huh. They're all... You're all the way at the bottom. Isn't there a way to skip to the bottom? Oh, wait, there is. Alright, here we go. Speed up function! There we go. I, I missed the speed up function. Oh, there's a lot of cards in this game. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, here are my cards. All right, what do we want to use for an ante? And I think the stronger the card for an ante, the better a card you will get. So let's try to pick a decently powerful card. Uh, these are the cards in my deck, and I can't I can't use cards in my deck as ante, I guess. So I think that really slims the pickings down. Uh, let's just... No. Let's just pick Sinister Stirp and screw it. This is a low-level anti-card. Is that okay? Well, well, do I have any high-level anti-cards? Eh, whatever. Let's just go. I just want to duel. We'll use Starboy. All right. So, it's a little bit more advanced than in Forbidden Memories, where um, you can actually, like, play cards the way they're supposed to be played. Uh, I'm just going to summon... Uh, who's the strongest? Uh, I'm going to summon Gale Dogra. And I'll summon him in attack mode, and I will attack. And so Dark Plant. There we go. Done. Easy. Okay. So that shows that. And then how do I... And turn. There we go. Turn Endo. All right. So, yeah. It's going to be like in Forbidden Memories, though, where the, the first few duelists are just... Ooh, 800 attack. Are just going to be laying shit face down. Really weak-ass vanilla monsters. Attack directly. Is there a way I can... Okay, is there a way I can end my turn quickly? Do I have to go into this menu each time? I guess I have to go into that menu each time. That's a little annoying. But, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, is One Piece D&D today? Yes, it's in about an hour. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Uh, what do we got? Uh, I think I could do magic cards also, because back in Forbidden Memories, you had to pick one magic or monster. I think I could do both here. So I get 200 life points, and I could still play a monster. Nice. Uh, main, main one, I'm going to tribute... Gale Dogra to summon Leo Wizard in attack mode. So it's actually feeling more like Yu-Gi-Oh now with the tributes and shit. Bam! All right, cool. Cool. All right. What were the promo cards for this game? Oh, uh, you know what? I was going to look that up before I started playing and I didn't. Uh, if somebody wants to look that up, go right ahead. 
Okay, Arm Ninja. Yeah, Frankenstein's not that hard. Ugh. Frankenstein. I can't believe we're not. I, I I guess this was. I guess we're fine now. I guess the streams are back in action. Oh, okay. So you see what happened there? Magician of Faith was a light monster and automatically defeated that card, which was a dark monster. But I did not lose any life points. So that's a mechanic in this game. If you have opposing attributes, you have to watch that. It's a one-hit kill, which is kind of bullshit. But that actually will help us later on when we discover the different... I have to write down a chart of, like, which attribute beats what. Um, because that's uh, actually very important to learn later on. Uh, negate attack. I remember getting negate attack. I remember the promo cards were always uh, cards that were, like... They had, like, these uh, holographic stickers on them. Like, they, they, they felt different from regular Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So there you go. And so that's a feat. So just keep that in mind. I mean, we're going to win easy, but yeah. Yeah, it was Roroku, Negate Attack, and Perfect Moth. And that's I remember getting those cards when I was a kid, yeah. So, and there's some cards, I think, that don't matter. Like, it doesn't matter about the effect or what. Like, they have no weaknesses. But we won. All right, there we go. The opponent is out of LP. Dual victory. Little victory music theme. Do -do 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 -do. Your deck capacity increased by five. Yay! 50 dominoes were exchanged. Oh, cool. We got some more dominoes. We're going to make the biggest domino track ever at the end of this game. Uh, Al Insection was obtained. That's a crappy card. But actually, you know what? At this point in the game, your duelist level is below the cost. This can't be put into the deck. Screw you. Oh, that's what... Wait. Wait, What? Oh, because we're level 72, and the cost is level 79. I thought that's what the dominoes were for. Like, it costs 79 dominoes to get this card. I can't even put this in my deck yet. See, that was the bullshit with this game. Now it's starting to come all back to me here. Shush. I lost that. All right. All right. Uh, Orange Frankenstein. Let's duel. I'll do with anyone, anytime. All right. I guess we have to pick an ante. Okay, cool. So, yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right. Ooh, Skull Angle. So we'll get a draw. And we have to activ activate the effect. So one card will be drawn. Nice. Uh, we still have a limit of, I think, only five cards. Oh, we got Pot of Green. Cool. Just all of the draws. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, but I can't. I can't attack if I activate its effect? That's bullshit. All right, whatever. Yeah, so there's some stuff in this game that isn't quite there, but it's getting there. All right, Frog the Jam, which is actually Toad Slime later on because of the frog archetype that became a thing. What does Pot of Greed do? I don't know. I just activated it, and I don't even know what it does. All right. Uh... Uh, okay, Fungi of the of the Musk might actually be able to be destroyed by him. But then if not, we'll tribute that to summon uh, Saber Slasher next turn. Ah, and he didn't do it. Okay, cool. Uh, I sacrifice Fungi. Oh, wait, no. No, go back. I sacrifice Fungi. Can I not go back once I activated it? Oh, I, no, wait. Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Now watch that. You can always tribute by accident, and then you're kind of screwed. So that's important to know. There we go. So we're going to be pretty OP at the beginning of the game. I mean, but it's the same thing with Forbidden Memories. Later on, it's going to be, you know, a lot of stronger cards. Okay. I think we can also look in the player's uh, graveyard, too, or like the last card that was destroyed or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, this powers up dark monsters. Okay. So that'll actually power down Skull Angle, but it should power up Saber Slasher. Nope, it just powered down uh, Skull Angle. But it also powered up uh, Witch's Apprentice, which is cool. But I can't attack with Witch's Apprentice, so that sucks. Uh, I still killed Uguchi, though. There we go. You can beat this game with monsters with less than 500 attack. I don't doubt it, but we're going to be playing the game as it was intended. 
Oh, see, there we go. Double tribute. So we can tribute. Let's trog the jam. Eh, and summon the last warrior from another planet, which is actually a fusion monster in the real game, but whatever. And finish him off. The last warrior. Dual victory. All right, what did we get? Skull Stalker, also a shitty card. And we can add this to the deck, actually, so I'm going to do that. So let's try to do that. Let's see if we can add something to the deck here. Uh, is there any way to sort these by cards that I recently won? That would be nice if I could do that. Trap, fiend. Hmm. That just speeds things up. Uh, am I still streaming? Can you still see me? Just want to make sure. Press the start button. Ah, there it is. Um. Reorder. I guess I could organize it by summon cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I was freaking out for a moment. YouTube just said it was... Yeah. Yeah, you're still there. Okay, cool. Did that did that sort anything? Oh, there we go. There we go. Cost. All right, cool. So cost is at the bottom. I don't think we can Yeah, I can't add Alan's section, but how do I get to the card I just won? There it is. Okay. I want to add that to my deck. But I can't cuz there's 40 cards in my deck. So that means I have to go out, go into my deck, take out a card, Let's take out Zone Eater. Oh, I have to be careful with it. I think I'll be all right because I, I'm already lower than 1,600. Okay, go in the trunk, and then there we go. But you see how my deck capacity went up, so you gotta got to watch that. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. There we are. There we are. And I don't think you're allowed to leave until you have 40 cards, so yeah. All right. Let's duel Naruto. Oh, we can duel Sasuke down there, too. Who do you want to duel first, Naruto or Sasuke, guys? Naruto! Sasuke! Hmm. I'm still playing Tag Force 2, but I would play Tag Force 3 eventually. Naruto, Naruto, Sasuke, 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 Sasuke. All right, we'll duel Sasuke. Sasuke! No, I've had enough. Yeah, you have, Sasuke. You've had enough. That's the most Sasuke thing to say. All right, Naruto, let's go. Don't whine and cry if you lose. That does sound like something Naruto would say. That's not far off there. All right, can we wager... Oh, I can't wager that because... Oh, can I wager the Allen section that I'm not allowed to put in my deck because it's too strong? Can I wager that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I could still use them as an anti, though, which might increase what I get later. That's how you play the game. Oh, we have a ritual monster. I didn't even see that. Whoa, okay. Ritual. Can I read the details of this? There we go. All right. A ritual for summoning a mask of shine and dark. Two monsters and a mask of darkness are needed. At least it tells you what you need. So you need three monsters. You need two monsters, I guess, randomly, and you need a mask of darkness, hopefully. All right, uh, keep that in mind. I'm gonna activate, oh. All right, what happens if I activate Pot of Greed when I already have, let's, oh, I, I can't activate it, because I already have, oh, okay, that's the reason, all right. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I guess I can activate it. All right, up to two cards from the deck. Oh, okay, so it only goes up to the space in the hand. That's good to know, though, that's good to know. Good to know. All right. Uh, okay. Turn end. Go ahead. All right, whatever. All right, that's going to be the name of the game for a while, by the way. Them just doing this shit. Sasuke. What a wuss. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, there, there's some things about this game. Like, you have to go into little mini menus and whatever to do everything. Oh, I didn't want to turn it into defense mode. But, oh, there we go. There we go. Nice, nice. So we got double double the money there, but we can't attack with either of them until next turn. But then we contribute for uh, that Morphean, this thing. So there you go. Cool design. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, okay, let's tribute Dark Plant for... There we go. And, uh, no, go back. Uh, I'm going to be making that mistake a lot in this game. This is still better than Dark Duel Stories. Uh, Dark Duel Stories, I think, was the first game for Game Boy that came to America. And uh, I tried playing that. And on top of it being way more primitive than this, 
uh, the, the, the music in the game, just the beeps and the boops, it just, it was so annoying. It was giving me a headache to that game. Uh, uh, tributes, Wandering Doom for Leo Wizard. Okay, now I'm getting into the rhythm. Now we're getting into the rhythm of the game. This is how you play the game. All right, we beat Naruto, everybody. Believe it! We're back. All right, we flipped a little bit, but that's not too bad. I'll take it. Only 114. All right, 114. Fairy Witch, which is like a basically a palette-swapped version of Witch's Apprentice. Uh, but I can't add it to my deck. But it was a stronger card. There's Rex Raptor over there if you want to duel him. You might be able to beat him. All right, fuck it. Let's duel Rex. Oh, first I'm going to save. Because I forgot to save a lot during... Forb I was re-watching the Forbidden Memories Let's Play a little while ago. And uh, I kept forgetting to save. And that screwed me over a lot. And in typical, you know, Pokemon fashion, you can only save... Well, I guess you can save anywhere in, po in Pokemon. But in a lot of games, you have to save at a computer. So, yeah. All right, Rex, get over here. Get your dinosaur ass over here. What? You want to challenge me at your wimpy level? I don't have time for that. All right, so you do have to you have to level up. All right, let's do a random purple shirt guy. I am random purple shirt guy. You will fear, fear my shirt. All right. Uh, can we wager? I'll just wager the Allen section again. All right, cool, great. All right, let's uh, just start with this. There we go. Doron was activated. All right, cool. All right, cool. Nice. All right, my turn. It's very quick and to the point, if nothing else. I have three monsters with 900 attack on my field. I am invincible. The Dino King. Indubitably. Okay. Uh, moving right along. I should just take out this unhappy maiden at some point. Actually, you know what? I'm going to place unhappy maiden in defense mode, so maybe he'll attack and then leave him open. And just to make sure, I'll activate this to give me some life points back. Of course. Bat. Just bat. Not meta bat or vampire bat. Just bat. Bat. My neighbor texted me. She's coming back from uh, Norway today. And I was watching her pet turtles for the last two weeks. They were good turtles. All right. I think we won. No, not yet. Getting there, though. Can't figure out how to reply to people on here, so don't chat on YouTube streams. But hi. Okay, hi. Uh, can you play the GameCube one? Yeah, I think that's uh, Falsebound Kingdom. So I might do that. I think that's the only Yu-Gi-Oh game that was for the false uh, for the GameCube was Falsebound. Uh, but we'll see. I don't have to do this, but I'm going to anyway. Okay. Eh, fuck it. Yeah, whatever. Why not? We're one anyway. Turtle facts! Oh, letter T is going to be turtle facts. Letter T is going to be turtle. Letter S is going to be snake. Like, that's going to be easy. Necrolancer. Necrolancer the Time Lord. That is the most bad at... Does that not sound like a pendulum monster to you? I pendulum summon Necrolancer the Time Lord. He probably has like 800 attack. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's a dream type. A dream type monster. I can add him to my deck. Hey, he's 800 attack. Might as well. All right, let's take out Unhappy Maiden. She's weak sauce. Uh, let's try to organize by attack. Can I sort in the other direction? I can't. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, add to trunk. Okay, trunk. Okay, now add to deck. Okay. All right. We're good. Good. Uh, now, this gentleman with the finely coiffed wing hair. Oh, he looks like he's wearing a jersey, like a number one jersey. Okay, here it goes. Uh, Anti. Let's just keep using... Uh... Oh, there's that witch's apprentice, that fairy witch. Let's use that as the anti. Oh, now we're, now we're crashing. All right, um, set that face down. Summon Mask of Darkness. Okay. I think we, uh, I think we lost connection there for a little bit, but I think we're doing all right. Uh, House of Adhesive Tape. 
the monster's attack is 500 lower, the trap wipes it out. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Pendulum card text being as long as a novel. Yeah. Pe I'm, I'm still not a fan of pendulums. I like... I'm okay with Link summoning, but pendulums I just never got into. My favorite warlord? Probably Mihawk. Maybe Boa. Nah, it's Mihawk. I think it's because of the internet traffic that you start to lag. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense because that doesn't have anything to do with, like, my internet personally or my computer. Um, that would be on YouTube's end, and other people can stream just fine on YouTube, so I don't think that has anything to do with my computer. Uh, Morphing Jar. I don't have anything less than 500 attack, or I would throw it in defense mode and see if he... Well, wait, hold on. Let me set Muka Muka here in defense mode and see if he attacks it, and then the trap will activate. See if that works. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if he falls for it. Nah, he didn't. Damn you! All right, fine. Tribute for Bolt Escargo. Oh, see, now that was a thunder. That was a water, so it was an instant kill. Keep that in mind. I mean, it's pretty obvious for the most part. Light beats dark. Thunder beats water. Water beats fire. That kind of shit. Basic Pokemon logic. Okay, if they were ever going to add a new type to Pokemon, what would you prefer the type to be? And what would it be called, and what would it be strong and weak against? So, let me know about that. Alright, we're back. We're back. Space type and weak to ghost. Oh, that'd be cool. Blast juggler! That's cool. Um, yeah, I could add him to the deck, and he's a fire monster. Cool. Hey, what did you say to me? Drog, get back here, you son of a bit. Okay. Okay. Hmm. We were doing good for a while there. Where's the Blast Juggler at? Okay, there we go. All right. Nope, nope, no, no. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, how about this lady now? All right. Um. Okay, I think we're back. Uh, I'm going to be ending the stream anyway soon because uh, we're getting pretty close to getting off for D&D &D anyway. Um, so we were good for about an hour. Um, maybe not an hour. Yeah, about, actually about that, yeah. So we were good for about an hour, and then it started to die. Okay, I don't know. It's, it's a mystery to me, man. It's a mystery to me. Uh, Skalangle. Finish off this guy, at least. Okay, so that was a light, so it beat a fiend. That's easy to know. All right. Good to know. Let's try to get through this last duel before... It crashes on me again. Okay. Oh, I still have to activate the effect. I haven't activated Skalingle's effect yet. I mean, I don't have to use it right away. I can activate it whenever I want, but I can only activate it, you know, once. Okay. So that's a cool little difference, I guess, from the game. Oh, see, that was light. Okay, shit. So I have to kill it with this. All right, good to know. Because I think Mask of Darkness is darkness as well, so yeah. Got to keep that in mind. So she's going to use a lot of fairy types. Hmm, interesting. Activate Skalingle's effect here. Oh, I, I, I don't think I can activate it unless... Um, hmm, maybe it has to be the first turn it's summoned. Okay, good to know. Astro type is cool. That sounds cool. I have space, radiation types. Those are neat. Mechleon, that's cool. All right, I think I have, uh, yeah, I'm going to summon that beat, beat stick next turn, the warrior from the other planet. Last last warrior from another planet. Okay, draw. Okay, there we go. Ah, shit, I already summoned. All right, let's just finish him off then. Her off. Let's finish her off. I think this will do it. And Mask of Darkness. Okay, there we go. All right. Dual victory. Yay. Dark Gray. That's a tribute monster. It has 
Actually, no, I was thinking of uh, something else. I was thinking of Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Okay. I lost. Aw, it's disappointing. Sorry. All right, uh, but in all honesty, I think I'm going to end it here. Let me just go save at my house. Log into the saving social media. Update my status. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to end it here next to Tristan and this dog. Um, I'll be back next time. We streamed at a pretty high bitrate for about an hour before it started to crap out on me. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, it's definitely a good thing, but... Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, that's that. Uh, we're going to be doing One Piece D&D over on Rustage's Twitch in about half an hour or so. So catch us there. We're in the middle of a serious battle. We're taking down a Yonko, ladies and gentlemen. What crazy antics is William and the Devil Luck Pirates going to get up to this episode? Who knows? What devil fruit will William rule this time around? Who knows? Only fate knows, I guess. Uh, catch you back here next time. Uh, this will be Teching signing out. Later, everybody.